Is it a choice? Is it 400 years of bondage? Girl, let's go and get into it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bee neck on. What's going on, y'all? Before we even get into this video, I want to remind you all that Justin J1232 is transitioning to King of Reeves. The YouTube channel will stay the same, but we are transitioning and changing the name to King of Reeves. As you already know, everything is changing to King of Reeves as we get ready for 100,000 subscribers. So Kanye West took his ass on TMZ and he had a conversation about 400 years of slavery being a choice. This is a conversation that has been itching out of his mouth. He's been wanting to talk about it. What better platform to talk about it than TMZ, a platform that never seems to have a nice headline for any black people when it comes to talking about something they're doing. That's a whole nother subject. We'll get into that later. Kanye West was on TMZ Live. He had this to say. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? So Kanye West honestly thinks that 400 years is, you know, a choice. Like, girl, you made a choice to make this happen. And honestly, and I just want to have a conversation about it, made me honestly think about what Killmonger said in um, Black Panther. Now, for those who are not ready for that type of conversation and really diving deep into what he was really saying, I need you to go ahead and click off because some of y'all going to be kind of pressed and stuff. Not saying I'm going to... I'm not going to do that, but we're going to have an honest conversation, try to understand a little bit where he's coming from, because this is our brother at the end of the day. No matter what he's doing, he's still our brother. Now, his views and him aligning with Donald Trump is problematic, and it is garbage as hell, but we need to understand Kanye West as a person before we just respond and react really quickly, because I think we can honestly learn a lot from him being an idiot for the last couple of weeks. Like I said, when I first heard him say it, I thought about what Killmonger said in Black Panther. Now, when Killmonger said that in Black Panther, I told you all that I did not feel it. I felt like he was saying that the Africans who made their way over, um, who didn't jump off the boat, were weak. That's what I got from him. I was like, you know, I am not my ancestors type of tease. I have me a passport, so I'm not like them. Like, I'm going to do other things. I'm going to get out and see the world and stuff. I'm not going to hop on Aladdin's carpet unless I know the true destination type of situation. He wanted to be dropped off in the sea. He did not want to be buried. He wanted to go out the same way that his ancestors did. Like, he did not want to be in bondage or whatever. So when Kanye is saying 400 years, years of slavery being a choice, I think what he's saying is you had a choice to either live or die and you chose to live and continue on. But his comments are invalid because our natural instinct is to survive. I don't know if a lot of people get that, but pay attention to how we go about our lives. We procreate for whatever reasons. Why? Because we say, oh, well, you know, sex is good and it happens and you want to do that. But why? Ask yourself, why do we Why do we do that? Why is it implanted in us? Why? Because we want to survive. We want to continue on the race, even if we don't be here. We want to continue on a legacy, we want to continue on the human race, civilization, we want to continue to do that. Hundreds of years before Africans were even taken to the United States in slavery and stuff and on boats and ships and stuff, we have been trying to survive from the dawn of us, of our ex very existence. That's us, period. I mean, even you have bacteria and shit that's resistant to certain things and stuff. So all of us have this survival type of thing. So for you to say that, you know, you had a choice and you didn't, you could have just did whatever, I didn't get that. And I think that Kanye West didn't even, he could have articulated that and it probably would have been a little bit better. It still would have been trash at the end of the day. But for you to say that y'all had enough people, y'all had, why y'all didn't rebel? There's plenty of stories of slaves rebelling. Like, what do you think they were hung on trees for? Like, first of all, black people weren't even allowed to read and write. So if we did rebel and do this, do you think they're going to put that in the goddamn history books, dumbass? They're not going to put that in there. They're not. Child, we were calling uh, Native Americans Indians, and we thought the white folks were trying to invite their ass to Thanksgiving. We didn't think they was out here slaughtering them and stuff. We didn't think they was out here committing genocide and having Thanos type of behavior. We didn't think that. But Thanos is actually better than white folks, honestly. Yeah, melanin, okay? That's why he got this strong-ass chin. But Kanye West doesn't seem to understand history. And I think that it's because he's been rich for so long that he is not understand. He doesn't see it. And I'm glad that Van Lathan got his ass together. Van Lathan got up and started just dragging his ass and said, girl, you are able to do this, but people at the bottom cannot do it. You live this life of luxury and everything, and you can shield yourself from some bullets. Even though you still get hit by the racism bullets and the bigotry bullets and everything else, you are able to take your ass in the hospital and get expert doctors to be able to operate and take the shrapnel out of your ass. Bitch, you Tony Stark, okay? And bitch, we ain't none of, we ain't even a damn adventure. We ain't even been fucking 
We ain't even been honest yet. Girl, you and the bitch, we have it because we don't have the tools and resources that you have, Kanye West. Like, yes, you're still looked at as a black man, but you have a little bit more power than we do. And that power makes a huge difference on how you see the world. You look at it through a different lens, which is why I think you honestly married Kim Kardashian. That's just me saying that. I'm just putting that out there. I think you want to align with whiteness. You wanted to create something. You want to continue on a legacy. And you felt like you had to marry a white woman. You even said it yourself like you had to take thousands or hundreds of showers before you even had sex with Kim Kardashian. Like she was this goddess or whatever. And there is no videos of Amber Rose having sex with nobody. So I'm confused. There's a videotape of Kim Kardashian having sex and there's no video of Amber Rose, so I'm, I'm a little confused. Even if we're going by this whole mantra, I, if I had to say who was, I would more say the definition applies to Kim Kardashian. But we pro ho over here at this channel anyway. If you want to, on the camera, make sure you're doing it, but make sure you're doing it right, because I don't play them type of games. Back on Kanye West. Kanye West believes that 400 years of slavery was a choice that girl, we got out here and said, you know what, I'm going to do this. But I don't think he understands that these people's lives were in danger. Like, these people wanted to survive. They just wanted to do whatever it meant to just make it happen and just to live. And there's nothing wrong with that. If we're saying that that's a choice, then you would have to say the Holocaust was a choice too. If you're going to say that logic, you need to put it across the board. But you know what? You're not going to say anything like that because it's disrespectful to white people and they will can your ass. But you're not interested in saying that. But if you really believe that, and you really believe the shit that you were saying, you would say all of that was a choice, honestly. You would have said that because your logic, honest, would say the same thing. Even though these people weren't enslaved, they were killed, they were massacred. Like, girl, like, what's the tea? Like, how do you not say that? And what makes it even more problematic for you, Kanye West, is that you're, you're saying this type of shit and you're aligning yourself with someone who is a known bigot, Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not care about black people. Maybe you should got your ass on TMZ and said that shit because you know TMZ acted like Donald Trump, honestly, but that's a whole nother conversation. Maybe you should have did that because Donald Trump has did several things. He argued and spent money on trying to find out what the first black president from the United States, like who does that? He took out an ad on a paper on the Central Park Five and said that the Central Park Five did do it. He said they asked for guilty and then they were found not guilty and he never apologized for it. Never apologized for it. Kanye West, while you was in Chicago doing whatever, working on your shit, Donald Trump was in New York discriminated on black people and people of color when it comes to getting housing. Where, where are you get? What are you doing, sis? You gonna line yourself and say this, this person's a good dude? I guarantee you Donald Trump says nigga under his breath before he eats any goddamn food. I think that's what he say for his grace, like nigga. I believe it. Donald Trump is that individual. He is that person. He does that. And if you don't believe that, I don't know what to tell you, but Kanye West, you don't seem to understand it because your lens and your eyes have completely changed. And Kim Kardashian, girl, save it. We don't want you tap dancing, doing whatever to try to fix it or try to make your husband seem like he ain't this. He's doing a lot of damage. And I'm honestly looking at all these celebrities that's having these conversations with him. And I'm honestly trying to see where y'all coming from and where y'all standing on the scale because this right here is some problematic behavior. As I always say, it's not necessarily the views that Kanye West that are trash, it's that he has a platform to continue on this conversation. That's what makes him dangerous. But Kanye West believing 400 years of slavery is a choice. It depends on where you coming from. I honestly don't think it was a choice. I think it's easy for us to say that 400 years now in the future, because we've seen what they got. Like, we've seen that was the best thing that worked out or whatever. We're able to say, you know what? You know what? I can do that differently. But the only reason why you will say that you could do it differently because you got a chance to see what happened. That's like getting the answer to a math test and you going back and say, you know what? Um, this is the result they got. Let me see if I can come up with something but a better answer or something. Like, girl, you've already seen the answer. You've already seen it. Even if that was wasn't the perfect answer, you are able to take that knowledge and do something completely different without getting the same result. You see what I'm saying? So, girl, you have that privilege to do that. Like, <sighs> but this does not surprise me. This is Kanye West's behavior. This is something that's been going on. I think this is something that he's been thinking about for the last couple of years. He's been showing us, you know, how he feels. And honestly, I think it's time for us just to shut him out. I think it's just, I think it's time for us to snap our finger and do our step on Kanye West. I think it's time for us just to shut up. And I'm even saying that as a content creator, like I can get out and do several 100,000 videos on Kanye West. And I'm pretty sure all of them will get views. But at this point, I'm not in a hurry to talk about Kanye West because 
I honestly want us to just shut up and stop talking about it because he's not doing anything of substance. But, girl, that's all I got. Tell me what y'all thought about this video, honey. Keep Kanye West in your prayers, quote unquote, and I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye. Have a good night. We wish you all the best on the song. We're all